Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Today Show with Trisha Sharma. I hope you all are keeping safe and doing well. So, you all might be wondering why it is the Today Show and not the Tonight Show. Hmm, well, I have a night for you, and that's just the purpose of being Sharma Ji's daughter, so we can get over that. Anyway, so the today's topic of discussion is going to be wildfires. To better understand these events, I'll invite my guests. So, firstly, we have the scientist, Dr. Ravida Sharma. Next, we have our environmentalist, Udita Goswami. And now we have the NGO representative, Niharika Singh, a concerned citizen, Monica Kakkar, a victim, Riya Gopi Jusoda, and our politician, Badri Ravatish. So we'll start by asking the scientist, Dr. Ravi Sharma, what exactly causes these wildfires? Thank you for having me. So uh, the first question is, what really is a wildfire? So a wildfire is an unplanned or uncontrolled fire which burns in a natural area such as a grassland or a forest. These can be caused due to many various reasons, which can be classified into two broad, two broad reasons. First is the human activities and second is the natural phenomena. So if we talk about the natural phenomena, there are four natural phenomena which lead to wildfires. The first one is global warming. The second is dry climate. Third is lightning. This is the most common source of wildfires. And the fourth one is volcanic eruptions. But of course, not all wildfires are natural. Most of them are caused by human activities. And in fact, 88% of the worldwide, 88 of wildfires worldwide are caused due to human activities only. Many human activities lead to wildfires. For example, uh, in the tropical rainforests, farmers practice the slash and burn method of clearing fields during the dry seasons. And when a lot of farmers do this simultaneously, a blaze unexpectedly burns and the whole forest then gets destroyed. But uh, another major another major reason of wildfires is when there are campfires on bonfires, when people burn wood in order to produce heat and light. It is often it often doesn't turn well. So if we take about, talk about the uh, preventions of these, there can be two main uh, sources of prevention. So if you are having a campfire, please please do douse it with water and stir it so that it is impossible for it to ignite again. And the second one is to keep many all um, all the sparks away from grassland because even a small matchstick is enough to burn a whole grassland. And this has been very recent in the Uttarakhand case in India last year. And these caused many mega wildfires. Thank you so much, sir. So now I would like to ask Udita Goswami, the environmentalist, what is the current situation in our world regarding these wildfires? Thank you. So we all know the occurrence of wildfires throughout the history of terrestrial life event uh, invites conjecture, uh, conjecture uh, that fire must have pronounced uh, evolutionary effects on most ecosystems, uh, uh, that is flora and fauna. Wildland firefighters face several life-threatening hazards during heat, stress, fatigue, uh, smoke, uh, fatigue, smoke, and dust, as well as a risk, risk of other injuries, such as burns, cuts, scrapes, animal bites. Between 2000, uh, 2000 and 2016, more than 350 uh, wildland fires die on duty. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So uh, we have Niharika Singh with us today, who is an NGO representative. So I would like to ask you what all has your NGO been doing and what all do you plan to do in future? Yes, wildfires have caused a lot of financial damage as well as putting the lives of people in danger. In the year 2021 only, there have been a total of 8,619 wildfires, which have resulted in over 2 million acres of land being burned. Wildfires not only cause great economical loss, but also endangers lives of plants, animals, which may lead to certain species going extinct. And on top of that, the, uh, that a big threat to the already weak environment. Wildfires are mostly caused by human activities, and if the government had given adequate attention, such calamities could have been avoided with ease. We have helped many people like Ria Chasola, and we would like to thank Monica Kakka for, for bringing light to this issue. 
Okay, thank you, ma'am. Now that we've heard from the professionals, I'd like to ask Monica Kakkar, who is a very concerned person regarding this situation, to give their views and recommendations to it. Thank you. And um, I like to um, say that it's my pleasure to bring this issue forward and bring light to it. Um, wildfires threaten lives directly and wildfire smoke can affect us all. Wildfires increase air pollution in surrounding areas and can... Uh, now we will talk to a victim, Ria Gopi Sola. Can you please enlighten us and tell us about what happened with you and what's the situation that is going on? Thank you, ma'am, for having me. Uh, I am Ria Gopi Jasola. The wildfire that I survived caused heavy casualties. I was one of the very few people who survived. But as I already have respiratory issues, my breathing was affected. My hand had caught fire, but thanks to the government's pre-planning, I was treated free for free in a good hospital with a few other survivors. Miss Niharika Singh, who is here right now, also helped me and my uh, parents to overcome the situation. I lost my house, all my belongings, and my husband, who had a heart failure and was already diagnosed with a cardiovascular disease. But the government and the NGO helped me. Thank you very much. So now you've mentioned a lot about the government helping you. So we have a politician, Mr. Badri Ravipisht. We would like to see uh, and ask you what are your views and what all has the government done for the situation? Yes. So as Ria already told us, these wildfires aren't being ignored by the government. The Bureau of Indian Affairs and Tribal Wildfire Prevention programs across the country are providing leadership training and guidance to develop strategies to reduce the number of human cost fires, human cost fires on Indian reservations. Fire prevention education teams are skilled in developing and performing fire prevention and education intended to slow or stop the occurrence of dangerous wildfires because they become devastating. Uh, Mr. Okay. Avat, you mentioned for uh, you you mentioned for citizens to have patience, but with the concerning amount of wildfires that happen, how do you expect people to be calm? Well, they are doing what they can. The people need to have some patience. The government is trying its best to control this matter. It would be easier for both of us, the government and the people, if you cooperate with us as well. Okay, thank you, sir. So now that we've you know get got a grasp of the situation, I would like to ask firstly, Udita Goswami, for what kind of solutions do we have, and how can we prevent the wildfires in the future? There are many ways to prevent uh, prevent such hazardous events. Check uh, check weather drought weathers and droughts conditions. Build your campfire in an open location far from uh, flammable uh, items. Uh, douse your campfire until it's cold. Keep vehicles off dry grass. Regularly maintain your equipment and vehicles. Practice vehicle safety. These are some of the main ones. But mainly, people need to be safe around fire and look out for uh, flammable substances. Okay, so I think we have our answers now. Thank you very much for all of you for joining me. And we will see you tomorrow.